Gary Dennis Rappaport was born on June 20th, 1950 in Brooklyn, New York. He was the first child of Manny and Phyllis Rappaport. Manny and his brother David owned Damon Creations in Manhattan, New York. They designed and manufactured men's and women's clothing. Manny and Phyllis lived in a tiny Brooklyn apartment when Gary was born. Three daughters followed over the next several years, Michelle, Randy, and Robin. Gary enjoyed his family, friends, and neighborhood throughout elementary and high school, eventually moving on to Syracuse University in 1967. Gary worked in the family business with his father throughout high school and college. Happy birthday, dear Grandpa. Happy birthday, dear Grandpa. My name is Paul Roberts. I was a corporal. Uh, overseas in the European Theater of Operations in 1943 and 1944. I was in an outfit that uh, transported paratroops and gliders into combat. The medal is really because of my outfit, Help Free France. When I was over there in September celebrating the 70th anniversary of Market Garden, we were treated royally parades, dinners. It was so beautiful because we freed them. Who would have thought at that time that a little 13-year-old from Newcastle, Pennsylvania and this guy from Morgantown, West Virginia would be brought together through BBYO. Esty had a mad crush on him. A couple years later, Elliot couldn't keep his eyes off of Esty. And look where we are now. Look where they are now and how much they have given of themselves as this couple that was brought together by BBYO. In 1964, Russ Cortese came east and looked at the Forsgate Farm area and decided he'd like to build here. He, at the time, became the youngest person to get a real estate license in the state of California. Ross was the most meticulous and careful guy that you could ever find. Everything he put forth to the public was going to be the finest and state of the art. That's how he lived his life. I always think of him when I ride in the gate and I feel a little proud of the accomplishment that we accomplished what we started out to finish and we owe it all to Ross. My mom was born Patricia Ann O'Hare on June 27th, 1944 in Rutherglen, Scotland to Henry and Mary O'Hare. My father was born in Gastonia, North Carolina in April 19th, 1944 to Ruth and Patrick Norton. My father came out of the water, saw my mother with curlers in her hair on the beach and walked up and said, aren't you going to introduce yourself? And my mother thought he was very fresh, but thought that he was also obviously someone that she wanted to get to know better. The year was 1914. It was a hot, sultry day, May 18th, in Rawalpindi, India. A son was born to the Maker family. He was named Daljeet Singh, conqueror of the troops. Daljeet Singh attended modern school in Delhi. He was an extremely bright student, and he was very confident and bold. One time, Mahatma Gandhi came to visit Daljeet Singh's school and asked all of the students a question. None of the other students would come forward, but Daljeet immediately raised his hand to answer. He gave the perfect answer, and Mahatma Gandhi was so impressed that he gave Daljeet a special reward. The small town of Bethesda, Maryland could not have anticipated what would ultimately happen to its quaint cottage-style hospital. Opened in 1943 to accommodate the growing World War II military population, within eight months the tiny hospital received approval by the American College of Surgeons. 
Fundraising campaigns were conducted door to door, and by 1950, the hospital had been purchased by the community and had an aggressive plan for growth and development, setting the stage for a strong focus on high-level acute care, including stroke and neurosurgery. Well, his Naval Academy football career has been a big part of his life. Uh, he was fortunate to play on a very successful team early in his career at the Naval Academy. That, And when he left the Naval Academy, he was one of the leading receivers in the school's history. He's always been an athletic guy, always loved sports. He played in the 1964 National Championship game with the Naval Academy as a wide receiver as a sophomore which was unusual. Not as many sophomores played in that game. We went over to the team hotel and my father introduced us to Roger Staubach and I'm sitting there talking to Roger Staubach and I go to him. So isn't it true that my father made you famous by catching all of your passes? My father's in the background going, I didn't say that. And Mr. Staubach goes, it, it is true. So it's pretty funny. He's like, my father's behind me going, no, I didn't say that. You were a great teammate. You're a great friend and I wish you and Pat and family all the very, very best. Happy birthday, Phil.